Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about one verse from Exodus 13, verse 17. I shall read the Hebrew verse and then translate it to English. Vayehi b'shalach paro et ha'am And it came to pass when Pharaoh sent the people. Usually when people read the name Pharaoh or paro in Hebrew, they think about ancient king who lived ancient history in the territory of Egypt, geographical Egypt. But the sages want to tell us higher truths about the name Pharaoh. In general, the Bible is not a history book. The Bible is a mirror which reflects reality. So, if the Bible is a mirror, or like a dream, the question is, what does the Bible reflect? And if Pharaoh is not just an ancient king, but a concept, the question what the concept of Pharaoh means in our lives. So, first of all, let's look into the letters of the name Pao. Pao. The word Pao is written in Hebrew in four letters. Pe, Resh, Ein, Hey. The volume of the letter Pe is 80. The volume of the letter Resh is 200. So together they make 280. Now the volume of the letter Ein is 70. So together they make 350. And the volume of the letter He is 5. So together the volume of the name Paro is 355. What is so special about this number, 355? Let's look into the Hebrew word for a year in Hebrew. A year in Hebrew is Shana. Shana. The word Shana is written with three letters. Shin, Nun, He. So, the volume of the letter Shin is 300. The volume of the letter Nun is 50. Together they make 350. And the volume of the letter He is 5. So together, the word Shana, here in English, makes the volume of 355, like the name of Pharaoh. There is equivalation of form between the word Shana, here in English, and the name Pharaoh, Paro, in English. So, the question remains, what is the name Pharaoh in Hebrew refer to? The name Pharaoh refers to concept of time in each and every one of us. If we let the concept of time governs inside of us, to tell us what we should do in every age of our life. People usually look outside of them and say in this uh, age people get married, in this age approximately people have children, in this age they probably rent or buy a house and they let externality lead them in their lives. This is the governing of Pharaoh, the governing of Egypt duality, multiplicity, concept, concept of conflicts, basically. Because the word Mitzrayim, Egypt, is expressed in the language of duality. Mitzrayim, dual, like maim, water, like mishkafaim, glasses, and so. So what does it mean when Pharaoh sent the people? This is not historical reading, but it's happening now at this moment. And this is a recommendation. Always read the Bible in this moment. This is a live book. This is the book of the living people, the living souls. So we have to always read the Bible in the present. 
So what does it mean when Pharaoh is sending the people, meaning the concept of time, sends the soul out? So we are not captured by foreign forces that limits us to time and seconds and hours, and so we are not slaves anymore for the clock or the inner perception of time inside of us, because we live in a way beyond. And this is why this weekly portion that starts in this verse, in Hebrew, Parashat Beshalach, Beshalach is so important. And later in this weekly portion, we shall meet the song of the sea that Moses and the people of Israel sang when the Red Sea, or Yam Suf in Hebrew, was opened to them. And a little tip which I would like to share with you. When we take the two words, Shana in Hebrew, year, and the name Pharaoh, Paro in Hebrew, and we put the He, the letter He, or the number five in each one of them aside because usually the He refers to the feminine perception. And we remain only for a year with two letters, Shin and Nun, which is 350. And with the name of Pharaoh, we remain with only three letters, Peiresh Ein. Both of them, Shin and Nun, and Peiresh and Ein, has the volume of 350. 350 is also the volume of the word Shmi, my name, the name of God. So, through this process, we can see how is the name of God or how God reveals or how infinite reveals itself to us. Wishing you beautiful weekend and happy to Bishvat because the next Monday we're going to celebrate the new year for the trees, flowers, plants and the universe which is green. So, all the best for now and hope to hear from you again. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.